So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason your particular iPhone, the updates are just not showing within it. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. There's never just one reason why this may end up happening. But the first thing is, is that if you make your way over to your settings application, just like this, and you go down into general and you click into software update, and you basically see something that looks like this, that says unable to check for update or something along these lines, the main reason why there's something like this ends up happening is because you don't have an internet connection or you don't have a Wi-Fi connection in your particular device right now. So what you're going to want to do is one, connect to Wi-Fi, connect to data. And these are going to be the number one ways to go and fix this problem for the most part. If you're running into these types of problems, this is the number one reason why stuff like this ends up happening. So double check your internet connection, your Wi-Fi connection, all those things. And that will usually end up fixing the problem for the most part. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing you may want to try doing is you may just want to go and make sure that your phone even supports the update that's available. I have an iPhone 15 right now. This iPhone is going to be getting updates for a long period of time, but I also own an iPhone XR and an iPhone 10 and an iPhone 6. Those iPhones aren't really going to be getting updates for a long, long period of time. So you just want to want to make sure that those phones you know, are still supported with software and that you're not running into any issues when it comes down to those devices either. So if you have an old device, double check that your phone is getting that software update that you're looking for. Now, on top of that, it could be, a, you know, there could be a reason where Apple's update just isn't shown for your device yet either. So that's another thing. You may just want to go and just kind of wait your time out. <laughs> no pun intended. You just want to wait a little bit of time until that update shows up on your particular device. That's another thing you can do to end up fixing the problem as well. If that's still not working, you may want to go and just double check that the update, again, is supported on your phone. You can try restarting your phone. So just hold on the buttons to restart it, slide the power off, and you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem too. If that's still not working, you may want to go and try just seeing if you can wait an hour or two and check for the update again. And a lot of the times that may end up fixing the problem there as well. So that covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.